Hi everyone, this is Shariq, Anna Shariq, and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. Ahla fikun bi Globetrot with Arabic. Ahla fikun. You see, I'm saying ahla fikun. It's a way to say hello to you because I'm talking to many people, to all of you at the same time. But if I was talking to a guy, I was gonna say ahla fik. And if I'm talking to a girl, I'm gonna say ahla fike. So. Let's repeat. Ahla fikun, all of you. Ahla fik, if it's one person, if it's a man. And ahla fik, if it's one woman or one girl. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you today about the street, the way to home. So I'm walking home and I'm gonna show you around uh, the things that I see. So to begin with, let me say I am on my way home. Anna, aa. Tari'e. I am on literally my way because tari means way. Tari'e means my way. So, ana a tari'e. I am on my way. Lal bait. Ana a tari'e. Lal bait. To the home. Ana a tari'e. I am on my way. Lal bait. To the home. So, I am next to the bus stop. Okay, bus stop. So, in Arabic, I'm gonna say, Anna, I am, had. Had means next to. Had, mawaf, mawaf, which means a stop. Mawaf, el bus. We say bus in Arabic. Anna, had, mawaf, el bus. I am next to the bus stop. Now I am next to the station. So I'm gonna say, Anna, had, some people say jan, but I like to say had. Ana had mhattat el tram. Mhattat el tram. So, let's break this down. The word hatta in Arabic has a te marbuta in the end. You see that circle that has two dots on top? That's the last letter. It's called a te marbuta. Now, what is this te marbuta? This te marbuta usually comes at the end of all the words that are feminine. So 100% of the words that have a te marbuta are feminine. But this te marbuta, it's a te, t sound. Most of the times it's mute. When the word is alone, it's mute. But we only pronounce it when the word is followed by another noun. So for example, if I want to say the word station alone, I'm crossing the lights. I'm going to tell you now in a bit how we say that. So, let me go back. So, if I'm going to say the word station alone, I would say mahatta. But because I'm following it by the word train, which is train in French, I, it's, it's a noun. So, now we have a noun plus another noun. So, anytime we have two nouns together, what happens is that we end up pronouncing that te marbuta. That's why I'm not going to say mahatta. Train. I'm going to say Mhattat el train, which is the station of the train. That's how it translates literally into into English. So we say Mawaf bus, bus stop, and Mhattat el train, which is a, a train station. Now I was crossing the traffic lights, so I'm going to say. This is a traffic light. So, Heide Isharit Murur Isharit Murur. Now, Ishara, again, the same applies to this, these two words. Ishara is a feminine word. It has that te sound in the end, which usually is silent. But because it's followed by another noun, which is Murur, which means passing. In this case, I'm not going to say ishara murur. I am going to say isharit murur, which is literally a sign of passing, which means a traffic light. In Arabic, a sign is ishara. Now, if I want to say red lights, green lights, so ishara is a feminine word. So, if I want to add an adjective to it or a color to it, it has to be feminine. So the way it works in Arabic is that the words that are masculine always have a masculine adjective. And the words that are feminine 
always have a feminine adjective. So if I want to take the word ishara alone, by the way, if I want to say traffic lights, I don't have to use both words always. I can just say ishara. I don't have to say isharat murur. It's actually more spontaneous to say ishara. Now, if I want to say a green light, I will say ishara khadra. Ishara khadra. Why? Because the word khadra, which means green, is the feminine form of the green color. I can use the same for the tree. Shajra, it's a feminine word. Shajra. Am I going to say akhdar or khadra? Akhdar is masculine. Khadra is feminine. Shajra is feminine. So, I'm going to say what? Can you guess? What? Which one? Shajra khadra. Because shajra is feminine, I'm going to use a feminine adjective. Going back to the ishara, there is also the red, right? Red lights. So, ahmar is the masculine form of red. Hamra is the feminine form of red. So, when it comes to ishara, which one should I say? Ishara hamra or ishara ahmar? You can say ishara ahmar if you say it wrong. But, if you want to say it correct, you say ishara hamra. Now, we also say safra, feminine of yellow. Asfar, masculine of yellow. Safra, asfar. Okay, so this building behind me, the white building, is a hotel. So let's use a white building and let's use the word hotel. I'm gonna say, Heide, this is Heide, Bineye, Bineye. That's how we say building in Arabic. Bineye, okay. Bineye is a feminine word. Abyad is a masculine color. And Baida is a feminine color. So, which one should you say? Bineye Baida or Bineye Abyad? Of course, Bineye Baida. So, Bineye Baida, or we can say Haida Hotel. No one really says Fundu. I mean, some people say Fundu, but in Lebanese Arabic, we will say Hotel, not even Hotel, Hotel, like in French. So, Haida Hotel Abyad. Now, behind me here, there is a big church. So, let's say there is a big church. Fi, there is Fi, Knise, Knise. Knise is a church. It's a feminine word. And I'm going to give you the adjectives for it. Kbir is masculine. Kbire is feminine. Knise is feminine. So should I say Knise Kbir or Knise Kbire? I'm going to say Knise Kbire. Now, <coughs> I'm walking in, a, in one of my favorite streets here in London. It's full of trees. Look at that. I will say there's lots of green trees. Fi, there is. Ktir, a lot. Fi ktir, shajar, akhdar. Here I'm using shajar because it's the plural form. Shajar, akhdar. So if it's one tree, I'm going to say shajra. And if it's many trees, I say shajar. Shajar. That's why we say shajra, khadra. But we say shajar. Akhdar, because it's more than one tree. For now, memorize that we say shajra khadra if it's one green tree, and shajar akhdar if it's more than one green tree. Now, let me say there are people in the street. Fi nes, there are. Fi nes, there are people. Bishira in the street. We can also say fi nes. On the road. We use them really interchangeably. Or It's the same thing. So, is a road. Is a street. So, You see? So, with the word I'm using B. B is in the street. But with the word tari, I'm using a, not b, a tari. It's like you're saying on the road. I'm walking next to the park, next to Hyde Park. 
which is now closed, I think. Maybe we can have a lesson in there someday. So, in Lebanese Arabic, we really say park because we can say hadia, hadia amme. Hadia is a literally a garden or a park. It can be a usually it's a park actually because a garden in Lebanese Arabic is jnayne, jnayne. But hadia is more like a park. Hadia amme, amme is public. Hadia amme. It's like you're saying a public park, which is a park. But you know, in Lebanese Arabic we will say park. Even better, we will not say anything because we don't even have parks in Lebanon, unfortunately. So it's something non-existent in our lives. But we know what it means. That's why we call it a park. Let me show you a black car, which already went. Okay, that was a bad way of recording, but here's another black car. Actually, most of the cars here are black. I don't know why. So let's use black with a feminine word, which is siyara. Siyara is a car. Siyara, I will give you the, t the two adjectives, the two colors, the masculine and the feminine, and you choose which one is correct. Aswad, masculine. Sauda, feminine. So, do I say Siyara Aswad or Siyara Sauda? Which one? Siyara Sauda. Because Siyara is feminine and Sauda is feminine. What else can I show you in here? Okay, here's a gas station. So, we will say, I'm going to tell you the a bit formal way and the word that we use every day in Lebanon. So, if I want to get gas from the gas station, I say Trumba. Trumba is a station, Trumbit Benzine. Benzine is gas. So, Trumbit Benzine. A Trumba of gas. That's what, that's what it means. So, we say Trumba, but because that's, that's the Temarbuta we spoke about, it's a feminine word, so we have trumba, which is a noun, and benzene is another noun. So we know now that a noun plus another noun, we will pronounce the te marbuta, trumbit benzene, not trumba benzene. But if we want to be a bit more formal, we can say mhattat benzene. Again, mhatta is a station. So in Lebanese Arabic, you say, Anna B Trumbit El Benzin. I am in the gas station. Anna B in Trumbit El Benzin. Okay, I am in the gas station. And if you want to put gas in your in your car, you can say I filled my car with with benzene. So you will say Anna Abait Abait I filled أنا عبيت سيارتي سيارة is a car and when you add the a sound in the end makes it my so سيارتي so أنا عبيت سيارتي بنزين I filled up my car with بنزين gas let me tell you one more sentence before we leave to finish our lesson today, there's a clock in front of me, and there's another train station, and actually there's another hotel. Let me show you all three of them. So, there is the clock, you see, it's a bit small, here, here, this one, and that's the train station, and that's the hotel, Hilton Hotel. So we already know what's a hotel. What is it? Fundu or hotel. So Haida Fundu. We know what a what what a train station is. So it's a mhatta And finally, a clock or a watch is se'a. Se'a. And you know what? This word se'a has so many meanings. Let me tell you what. Se'a means the watch that you wear in your hand, which I don't wear. Se'a means one hour. 
So for example, if you need one hour to arrive, you say, بدي ساعة. I need one hour. بدي, I want or I need ساعة. You can also use ساعة to talk about the clock that is on the wall. And then ساعة also means hour. So for example, if I want to say what's the time or what time is it, I say الدي الساعة. ال. We will write it ال, but we will pronounce it الساعة. So I'm going to say at this sea. Literally you're saying what's the hour, which means what time is it? So you see, sea has so many meanings. It means time, what's the time? It means one hour, it means clock, it means watch. That's it for today. There was a restaurant. I missed it. I have to say, I really have to say what a restaurant is. Matam. Matam. That was a restaurant. Haida Matam. This is a restaurant. And that's enough. Really, that's enough. And thank you very much. Merci ktir. U pshuvkun bukra. Pshuvkun. I see you all. Pshuvkun bukra. Bye bye. Ma Bye. Yalla bye.